Hi there, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn about Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets. So, let's first understand about what exactly the Scale Set. Scale Sets will help you to create and manage a group of load balanced VMs. When I say load balanced, it's going to be a replicated of the same virtual machine. So, you have the front end one single virtual machine but in the back end you have multiple scales of the same virtual machine so it's not the same wizard that you create a virtual machine instead you should be going back to as your portal to create as a different wizard for creating this virtual machines as a scale sets so the advantage of this is it can automatically increase or decrease based on the uh, based on the defined profiles or based on the that profiles are basically uh, defined on based on the availability or the performance so let's say you are running a weekend sale or maybe a year end sale like a black friday or, or maybe christmas sale and then your virtual machines might get some kind of you know heavy load in that situation it will automatically scale your virtual machine from one to maybe a hundred or maybe a thousand in case if the load is high so it can automatically scale up and also if there was no load it can automatically scaling down also so all that can be done automatically for you with the help of virtual machine scale set so you have uh, option for the scale in and scale out options also built in with a three different profiles that can be configured like a general or maybe a fixed schedule or maybe a recurring schedule let's say it should only uh, scale in between maybe a weekends or maybe every friday sale something like that can be you know, configured so that's the advantage that you have with the scale set so far we understand based on the business case but let's understand why we have to create these virtual machines so the here you know i have mentioned four different use cases so the first one is easy to create and manage multiple vms so of course that might be easy to create and manage multiple vms but what's the use and what kind of in you know, a purpose we are going to create a multiple virtual machines let's say you are uh, looking for having a consistency and reliable performance of your applications with a VM size and disk configuration application installation should be there within that image and then you would be you know, going for uh, creating a scale set and also with the scale set all the instances that are created from your base image that means you can uh, either choose from a marketplace or you can actually pull and uh, have your own customized image let's say you created uh, complete a vm and then you convert that vm as the one of the image that means that vm will have all the application patches everything is available so what happens is within the scale set you simply uh, locate that image it uses that image to automatically spin up based on the required virtual machine so you have a consistency and also you can use the scale sets uh, load balancer even application gateway can be used if you locate we talked about in different lectures on the networking section might be on application gateway which works for layer 7 traffic to be distributed along with the TLS uh, terminations and for the layer 4 traffic we talked about the load balancing solution so that also can be integrated within this scale set so you have a public IP and in the back end you can attach this scale set so if one virtual machine is overloaded it automatically spins up with the advantage of this auto scaling and then that would take the load with the help of uh, Azure load balancer or maybe application gateway based on the configuration or the design that we are going to perform so the second one would be the provides a high availability application uh, applications for resilience so why and what is that it means if one of these VMs has some problem or customers continue to access your application through one of other VM instance with a minimal interruption will be there and the new upcoming users will go and uh, 
communicate with another virtual machine which is already placed in the high availability zones to automatically distribute these VMs uh, within this scale set with a single data center or multiple across multiple data centers so you have that flexibility and also if you look at it will allow your applications to automatically scale as a resource on demand changes uh, when I say resource on demand so let's say your uh, existing VM instances might be overloaded with the CPU utilization of maybe a 70 percentage then we can spin up automatically some of the virtual machines let's say you know five more virtual machines can be spin automatically and wait as a cooling period maybe five ten minutes and see if the load of that uh, virtual machine CPU is going down that's fine if not you can spin up some more to cool down that and once the load is completely low it's, there's no point that you know you are gonna build for all those virtual machines right so you can scale out and uh, that means you can you know reduce the virtual machines automatically so there's no interruption or there's no manual configuration on this or you are gonna you know attach some more virtual machines or something like that it does on its own so you have that option that's called auto scaling which we are going to do it as a demo and uh, post to this introduction of uh, a virtual machine scale sets and coming back to the other one works at large scale yes uh, it's going to you know support as we talked uh, beginning of this lecture it can go even one to one thousand vm instances let's say you want to you know have a create your virtual machine maybe up to 1000 of the similar images you can do it but that's a limitation that if you are trying to use your own image your custom applications created uh, OS image then you have a limitation of 600 instances but that's again it's a huge actually the uh, for spinning up 600 different virtual machines so let's also talk about a little bit of difference if you're quite um, uh, if you're quite not sure still about the scale sets versus virtual machines let's have a scenario based understanding so let's see if you want to add additional instances so what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually create in the virtual machines manually where is the uh, virtual machine scale set it's gonna happen automatically with the help of auto scaling and when it comes for the traffic balancing or, and distribution it's going to be a manual process to create a configuration of your as your load balancer and application gateway as we talked at layer, layer 4 and layer 7 level of traffic distribution can be done on your virtual machines and this is going to be a fully manual process but if you're using the uh, virtual machine scale sets it's purely automatic and all you have to do is you have to integrate your load balancer or your application gateway and it does the job automatically and it can route the traffic to your application gateway and then from there to a proper uh, proper machine or proper VM instance it can route the traffic and for high availability and redundancy yes you can uh, choose the high availability sets like uh, uh, high availability sets can be created manually and you need to you know, distribute and track the VMs across the availability zones but with the virtual machines uh, scale set it is fully automatic so when we talk about the virtual machines the previous lectures what we talked uh, what we learned like availability sets and availability zones or regions all that are fully integrated with the help of a virtual machine scale set so it can automatically distribute of your virtual machine instances across uh, availability zones that you have and also for the availability sets now when we look at for the scaling of virtual machines you need to actually scale the manu manually by doing the as your monitoring and as your automation uh, help with that help but here virtual machine scales it it's going to be either auto scale or manual scale you have the two options in fact but if we go for auto scale and um, it does automatically based on the similar uh, you know monitoring but here what happens is here we're going to use the matrix let's say the cpu matrix of average of maybe 10 minutes if the cpu is still at 70 percentage utilization or maybe disk utilization is more for the last 10 minutes or maybe 30 minutes more than 70 percentage then you're going to spin up automatically virtual machines with the help of auto scaling so that kind of things can be configured with the help of 
uh, virtual machine scales it so let's jump into the proper demo and we'll have a look on how to create as your virtual machine scales it and then we'll also put some kind of load on one of the virtual machine and let's see uh, will that really spin up additional virtual machines or not so 